Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install a debugger for your PHP code. This tutorial is going to assume that you are a Mac user and that you are operating with MAMP and also you wish to enable xDebugger for your PHP code. The first step you are required to do is essentially determine which PHP version your MAMP software is running. In order to determine this, all you are required to do is go into the window where you ran your MAMP installation and on that window you will see at the bottom the PHP version that your MAMP installation runs. So for me as an example, I'm running 7.4.21. Step two is to edit the two configuration files in order to enable xDebugger. So as you can see right here, the two configuration files that we need to edit are these two php.ini files. I'll put their respective directories in the description box at the bottom, but essentially you'll find them under your applications folder, mamp, conf, php version you run, php.ini. Go ahead and open the two php.ini files as I did right here. And now we can go ahead and enable xDebugger. So to do that, just scroll all the way to the bottom of the file. You'll see a section called xDebug. So what you want to do is essentially uncomment this Z extension part by deleting the semicolon at the beginning of it. Then you'll need to copy paste this code right here, put into this YouTube's description box. Once you're done with the first file, go ahead to the second php.ini file and do the exact same thing. So after editing the php.ini files, saving, what you need to do now is essentially restart your MAMP installation. So that's pretty simple. Just stop it right here and restart it. Okay, now what you need to do is essentially go to VS Code and install an extension that is called PHP Debug. So go ahead and install it, enable it, and you're good to go. So before we proceed, just note that xDebugger is registered under the port 9000. The next step is essentially to run it under VS Code. So what I did was I went under the Run tab at the top right here, click it, then click Start Debugging. I already did it, but essentially what happens is VS Code will request to you if you want to essentially create this launch.json file right here. And what you need to do is just click Yes. Once you open launch.json file, you need the port numbers to match what you set up in the php.ini files earlier, which was 9000. So go ahead and edit the first port to 9000 and then scroll a bit and you'll find a second port where you are required to change this to 9000 also. In order to debug properly and have your errors logged out in your console on your front end, in the launch.json file, under configurations, add this line of code, which specifies that the external console is set to true. Save your changes, then try to rerun your debugger again. Run, start debugging, click it. Then VS Code should tell you that you don't have a PHP executable. So in order to set up a PHP executable, what you need to do is either go under your settings and then under this PHP debug executable path, click uh, edit in settings.json. It should open up this settings file and under the settings file, what you need to do is scroll to the bottom and tell VS Code which PHP software you are going to use in order to debug your code. My PHP executable file is located under applications MAMP bin PHP PHP version number bin PHP. Yours will be located somewhere similarly and so I will put a example directory in the description box for you to find yours easily. 
Also, you would want to add the same PHP executable that you did previously in the debug mode for the validate mode. And the way to do that is to simply add this line of code right here, the same as you used in the PHP executable to debug. Now that we have everything set up properly, go ahead and rerun VS Code to make sure everything is in place. Then go under run again, start debugging. Then go under the PHP script that you want to debug. Once your breakpoints are placed, we can go ahead and trigger them. So I just triggered my first breakpoint. And if you never used a debugger before, this panel right here essentially helps you manipulate uh, the breakpoint and essentially move it. So as you can see here, my first breakpoint is at this method determinator command. And so there's nothing special to do here. So I'm just gonna move to the next breakpoint by clicking display icon. So now we move to the next breakpoint, which is at this data decode or JSON decode command here. And so the debug console, what you can do is write the variable that you wish to visualize and hit enter and the debug console will show you what this variable contains. Or what I like to do is put all my variables under this watch section right here and my debugger will output their values in real time as the debugger pointer changes locality. So with all that being said, I hope you gain value from this video. Please do consider subscribing, liking and commenting. If you have any technical issues, for example, I will try to respond to your comments. If you want to go through a written format of this tutorial, I put in the description the URL towards my blog post where I essentially go through everything I just talked about in this tutorial. Also, if you require web development, web design, AI automation, SEO services, you can go ahead to earnanswers.com, which will be in the description also. And you can submit your email in the homepage and I'll come back to you and we can book a call to further our discussions and to further your plan. Thank you very much.